Oh hello everyone, and today we are in a treat because we're watching uh, Nacris Constantine, uh, something like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's he's got fairly similar stats to me, slightly better than mine, in fact. Uh, he's played slightly more games and slightly more uh, win eight. So let's watch him. It will be a pretty nice game, I I promise you. Uh, so you can see the CDC moves around like a dolphin, pretty much. But it's big. It's fairly big, and uh, it, it, that means it's got shitty camo rating. And now you can see the choice of uh, consumables he has is obviously a bit weird to most of you. Why does he have a large repair kit and uh, a small repair kit? Well, I tell you that. In fact, that's what I would do also in the CDC because CDC never gets set on fire. I have never ever got set on fire once. Not even once. And uh, I think it is totally worth it to have a f faster repair time. Remember the large consumer, the large repair kit consumable, also r increases your repair, uh, not increases your repair time, reduces your repair time, and uh, increases your repairing ability. So, yeah, even if you don't want to use it, you can still have it there. It's more useful than a fire extinguisher in this tank, in my opinion. The fire extinguisher is uh, very useless I would say because you just simply don't get set on fire in this tank in fact you might probably get set on fire once 200 games so again I can't recommend you enough to have large repair kit if you got one or you can have the uh, the French coffee on it which is not a bad idea either and uh, I also think might go I might actually go for that you know coffee and repair kit and all that but yeah anyway th this tank gets wrecked by RT so yeah, RT loves you and when you're focused down by RT the be the worst thing you want to do is to to, to st stay in the same spot getting tracked so if you do have a large repair kit it is going to save your your life also if you do get wrecked by RT you can probably re repair like 10, 10 modules at once which will actually be damaged like that uh, this tank does not like RT at all and not even trying to kill Artie is fine in this tank because Artie can shotgun you and you know those Arties are damn accurate even though they shouldn't be <laughs> especially those Russian S51s uh, nice shot oh my god he, he's not connecting that well in this game but you can see how he's working the terrain here he's absolutely abusing the terrain here the Centurion is getting outplayed left right center and he is tracked there perma track in fact and he is going to pay his repair bill is right here he just waits until every time he pops over for for reload and uh, basically kills him and uh, Centurion does track him but never mind he's got large repair kit which repairs fairly quickly and he gets his track back just to come back in time so the Centurion cannot plant one more and this is just uh, where you want to be really in your CDC the opponent cannot shoot you and holy shit he just gets ammo rack. Now Centurion gets ammo rack, and CDC took no damage in return. 2k damage already. What a start! You know this is just amazing start. And you can see that Team 150 is flanking into the base. Tiger 2 is dealing with him, but uh, CDC of course has to do the job of cleaning up this E25. And there goes the kill of one of the best players on the enemy team. Now there's only statistically three enemy who is actually really good, including the Panther who is right in front of him. Uh, down down the ditch. The KV3 relent retardedly, recklessly, let's say. Uh, he just decides, you know, he's gonna show his armor to everybody. Shoot me inside. Yeah, I'm well, sure he does. He does have armor, but you know, don't ever show your side, your fat Russian side. It just don't work. And then here, suddenly his team gets vaporized. And the E2 somehow bounced for the first time. And uh, second shot, does he look for the panther? No, the panther is not retarded enough to go up. Okay, shit, SU-100 is here. He waits for the gun to come, and finally the, the shot does come in. The, he knows the panther reloads way faster than he does, so therefore he, he disengages and uh, waits until the panther makes his first mistake, which he does connect the round, and there goes the kill, and shit, the E-25 is here, and the E-2 is here, but he gets a good shot into the front arm of the E-2. He runs away from the SU-100, which is actually epic, and now just just outplaying this SU-100 like a boss and this is why you want to get yourself a SU-100 if you are a good player that is the minimum requirement if you 
uh, if you think you can perform like this, you need at least a minimum of 1,500 win eight. If you don't have that, I, I, I'm afraid I, I can never recommend you to get this tank. This tank may look all that cool, how you can just absolutely wreck opponents by outplaying them, but trust me, it is not easy to play at all. You certainly need the skills for it, and it's fairly cheap. So, for the 7,000 gold standard uh, tier eight. Tanks. I would definitely recommend this tank more than the the Super Persian, the Panther 88, and uh, such tanks like that that cost around the 7,000 region. Uh, so yeah, this tank is absolutely ridiculously uh, well performed. It's like a leopard basically, but a premium leopard <laughs> at tier eight. Pretty much just what it does. Uh, no armor, but you know the gun kind of makes up for it, and the speed and the the ability to use the gun depression on the tank is absolutely amazing uh, you can get those lucky ricochets like shown in here uh, so you can see the yak tiger 88 well kill that F fcm first and holy shit he just bounced what a disaster now luckily there's no arty if he's got arty on the enemy team he is absolutely screwed he's trying to find the F F fcm but fcm does not appear and now this is tense because God knows how many tanks are coming to get him and oh Yak Tiger you he does dodge him and shit FCM come on bitch connect that round somehow the FCM managed to miss and right now he has to, to take the initiative although taking hits he has to get right down close and he gets quite lucky they're tracking the Yak Tiger Yak Tiger repairs it instantly Yak Tiger misses and it, there is pretty much game over for the Yak Tiger unless he gets some support which he isn't going to get some and uh, yeah that, that's just pretty much it Tiger 2 <laughs> steals the kill but never mind he, he kind of deserves it for at least trying <laughs> to do something not botting at least so uh, CDC again working the terrain getting around to shoot the T32 that, there's one shot now where is the other M6 and IS and Tiger 2 they're taking their time aren't they he, he received a shot from down range on the left hand side so right now he has to change position because now he cannot afford to take any more hits and it will be absolutely game over if he is to die here because I do not rely on the <laughs> Tiger 2 to, to win this actually the Tiger 2 is pretty awful uh, in my experience never never leave your hopes to a, a teammate especially not a random teammate uh, T32 runs away, and don't don't crest don't crest the ridge. Whatever you do, don't crest the ridge. And okay, Tiger 2 just crest the ridge. Clever dude, right? Clever. And h the worst news is that the Tiger 2 is on <laughs> 1,000 health before. And okay, it's squeezing one more shot. Mm, does not want to kind of get caught out here. Just yes, he squeezes in the shot there. And the Tiger 2 just, just stay calm and just camp, my god. T32 trying to kill the CDC but cannot. So therefore the, the Tiger 2 reverses in front. The T32 fires and the Tiger 2 will kill the T32. No, he doesn't. Because T32 is just <laughs> lucky that he has a Tiger 2 there. And what what can you say after watching this? Uh, I mean, uh, he just literally raped the enemy team like a boss. And then you got the SU100 saying "Gold New." Well, shut the fuck up! I I I, I just hate people like that saying "Gold Noob." You know, you know. Tell me about it, about Gold Noob. Look, he is using a, a premium tank himself, and he's calling someone else a, pre, a premium noob. The only reason this game is available for people for free is because people pay for it and then you got people who call them premium new when throughout the game you know you, you didn't really fire that many rounds of premium I, 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 on the top of my head I, I haven't seen him fire many rounds he, he only started firing them once the situation got quite critical and so SU100 just bitch shut the fuck up man just why why you are not know how to play gold noob what the fuck learn English first I, I don't understand dicks like that it doesn't make any sense for for me to to give any sympathy for those cunts um, spamming heat full full 24/7 in the T54 that's wrong but to be honest if if anyone was in this situation you know doing 6k damage already you know this just already a brilliant game I could just win it by firing a few extra 
APCL. I'm going to do that. So I don't see the why that stupid shithead in the SU-100 is crying about. And he's like, GG idiots to his own team. Just no respect at all. But I mean, what the fuck did he do? Just, like get sniped by <laughs> CDC. That's what he he got done. And Tiger too. I I, I have no idea why he's trying to chase the CDC. He's never going to chase the CDC right here. And you see, some players are quite sportsmanship. Like they congratulate uh, Nar Narciss on the the brilliant performance he's done. But then there's always some dicks in the enemy team who has to call everybody else noob because statistically he is such such a beautiful player, isn't he? That SU 100 Y. I'm just gonna show him on YouTube because you know, like he just can't shut the fuck up. Look at him in chat. This sings idiots. Just, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it at all. It's not like he's a pro at all. So <laughs> this Yak Panda four on his team defending him. Uh, but again, he's not falling for the old, for the old trick where trying to get you angered and you know type in a chat and get killed or something like that. But he's he's doing the right thing here, playing like a real pro. You know, ignoring the comments. And you can see Yak Panda 4 does praise him a lot. Yak Panda 4, I can see a bright future, <laughs> although he's got fairly crap stats, but at least he knows what's good and bad, at least. So I think the Yak Panda 4 will improve to become a better player, whereas the SU100 can't. I just I just don't see it. I mean, he still has 1,000, 1, only 1,000 win 8 after 8k games, and he's still bragging on about shit heads like uh, other people being noobs. You just, just oh my god! I mean, all my rant here is because <laughs> I had this game where there was this guy with twenty five k games and three hundred win eight, calling everybody else noobs, and it was hilarious as hell when everybody just turns against him and uh, says you're, you're the you're the real noob because you know twenty five k games and three hundred win eight. <laughs> that that is just astonishing, really. CDC just vomits around the battlefield. You can so easily catch out, catch the enemy out, and you can see that the thing Narsus is doing is that he is actually you know using the the ditch and all that shit, which is uh, very nice. In fact, he's using the ground like to get hold down to to minimize the opportunity. The opponent has on shooting him. Oh my lord, that shot was close. And he, 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 he is so close to to die here. But again, the CDC, like a guerrilla fighter, does not stick around. It moves around and changes location again. And the hunt begins again. And one good round into the side. The tiger too. Not not looking so bright now, is he? He is not looking so bright. But still, he's relentless. He's charging. <laughs> I can see the fate of this one now. Who pulls the trigger first? And I believe Tiger 2. As long as he hits, he will win the game. But my bets are not on the Tiger 2. Oh my lord, that shot was disgusting. The Tiger 2 does not make a move. He still does not make a move, which will cost him the game, or not? Oh, oh, oh. Where is the M6? I wonder. Oh my god, that bounce. That bounce. Look, the M6 should have immediately moved up. The Tiger 2. Oh my god, this is this is disgusting to watch. He does connect around, and god, thank you. You killed the Tiger 2. And now he just has to get unspotted and pop up on the M6. And the M6 is, would be dead. He goes behind the bush and fires. As you can see, he's very much situational aware. Uh, he's got high situational awareness on uh, the uh, about the game. And oh my lord, that was disgusting! Only 30 seconds. Just, just come on, penetrate. Oh my god! Oh my god! How much seconds are there left? 20 seconds. 20 seconds is all he got. And the M6 can easily catch him out right now in the open. He cannot take the route around him. And this is super close. Well, the Panther saying killed 20, 20, 12 bots, but seriously, Panther, you got outplayed in this game. Not gonna lie. And M6, bye bye. You just lost the game. 
and there was the game winner right in time five health point left this is simply the best game I've seen in a long 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 time in fact could be the best game I've ever seen in World of Tanks anyway the amount of skills he's shown in this one was not something like you know that noobs can easily do don't think this tank is easy to play or anything like that it is super hard to play like shown here and hopefully you have enjoyed this video hopefully I've showed you uh, a really good awesome replay for you guys to also learn so hopefully this has been helpful for you and uh, we shall see you next time